Yo, what's up guys? We got some new updates today. Let's talk about these. Alright, so uh, let's let's just go sort of from the top of the list. So the first thing, if we teleport to here, you're going to notice something happens. Nothing! Nothing happens! I removed the bounty hunter shit. It didn't function. You wouldn't actually upgrade your emblems or get emblems. It really didn't serve much of a purpose other than to kind of be annoying. I also have... Uh, a couple theories that it could be causing issues in other places. Obviously, now that it's gone, we should be able to test. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, eventually, I'd love to have like 100% working bounty hunter, but that's you know that's that's down the road type shit. So you have some minor updates. Cave nightshades are now tradable. You, can, you now get a uh, you get some pug points. Whatever you get a 99 or 500 mil. I don't see it in the chat, but uh, you do get points. Uh, the loot balloon has been slightly buffed. It will now yell when it goes away. And you know what? I have not seen it spawn. Granted, I did leave for a minute ago. Let me ask everybody if they've seen it spawn. So, also made some slight adjustments to revs. No one, uh, did they reply? Not yet. Not yet. I feel like it should have spawned. Uh, we were having an issue with unrelated things, but it brings up a possible issue. Um, syncing, syncing all of our files together with Dark can be kind of difficult sometimes because he lives in uh, Syria. So he doesn't get the best of internet. And I feel like that might be what we're experiencing. No, that's there. I did mess around with the time, not on purpose, more or less on accident. Uh, well, I guess it was on purpose. I'm showing, so I'm just showing all the wrong things. Um, I was trying to test something with it. I'll have to keep an eye on that. I don't know if the loop balloon is spotting. I feel like it's. I feel like it's leaving. I feel like it, I somehow removed it. I'll have to look into that. Um, but if I, whatever, regardless of its status, it is updated. And if someone does get it, it'll yell. Um, let me. Let me show you. Watson. Watson has a new option to get master clues quicker. Uh, right click them. Master clue. Boom. If you do that and you have all the stuff, it will give you one. Iron Man Yell is a little bit uh, better. If you remember, it was kind of hard to see. Uh, is really no, not a single Iron Man Yell. Okay. Oh, here's the duo one. I also gave them their own colors. Duo, Ultimate, and Normal Iron Man had the exact same color. I gave them all unique colors based off of the, the emblem and whatnot. And then it stands out a little bit more. Um, I guess he's the only person who's yelled it's an Iron Man to show it off, but I assure you, if you want to look at the, the that's, that's what they look like. Uh, Rosalo is gone. He'll probably be coming back October, so that's when you can expect him. Loot Hunters in the EZ, the Elite Zone mob, are... Uh, people were wondering what they what they are. Let me show you what they look like. I'm, I'm pretty happy of these NPCs just because they look cool. I've always been a fan of the way they looked. So, Loot Hunters... Let's uh, not peering it for a bit. Smacks you with the shovel. Boom. And they have some pretty interesting drops. Those are now, the kill counter is now being tracked. Hunter skill boss was slightly buffed. Vasa has received some more changes. Um, I'm going to have a proper video out on raids very soon. Just kind of giving everybody an update on how it works and, and what you need and everything. So look forward to that this weekend for sure. Um, just some other small fixes like ranging master cape now functions as Ava's vote tickets got buffed voting is actually uh, let me show you Let me find the uh, oh, This is NPCs vote tick. 4067 Just open a couple uh, so it's now kind of like a mystery box you'll get an item the items were sort of based off mystery boxes But I did remove some things add some things um and uh, as you can see, you know, fifth one to I set. That's pretty. It's pretty decent considering you can get four vote tickets a a um, a, a voting a vote <laughs> a vote. Like every time you every day you you would get four. Uh, and then you also get 250 puck points, which they would be updating automatically. So yeah, you, yeah, you can see it. And then we have the sinister chest. So let me show you the full process of how to make a sinister key. So this has been coming up a lot. I did leave a little um, thingy on the update post telling people how to make them, but I'll, f I'll figure I'll properly show you how to make them now. So step one, you're going to need 99 Herblore. Step two, you're going to need, I think, 10 Inventions. So if you go to Colon Colon Invent, let's just give ourselves a billion dollars, a billion G's, G's, P's, G's, P's. Let's go to the Hellbox Shop. Now, most of you already have this, but if you're doing this from scratch, you're going to need a overload schematic, 25 mil. You can alk it for half your money back if you were wondering. This thing may be overpowered. 
True that. True that. It was really, really bad at first, and then it got buffed, and now it's really overpowered. So, uh, by the time you're watching this, it's probably already nerfed. I wouldn't even worry about it. Let's uh, get uh, some. Let's do like some of these. So you're gonna disassemble these for crystal components. You can also disassemble crystal items. You can also disassemble crystal keys and the halves and whatnot, and all of that fun stuff. Uh, once you have your components, you're going to need to make an overload. So how to make an overload? You need to make, uh, you need organic components, but the best way to get them is from Cave Knight Shades. The Iron Man can access that as well. The aggression pot, what you need to do is get a super prayer, which is a prayer potion and a Cave Knight Shade at 99, I think, uh, 99 herb lore. And then to get the money rock, if you're in EZ, or no, LZ, the $500 one, there's a, it's there. But if you're not LZ, you're going to have to come this, I'll show you how to do it. So go to here. Go to Eagle's Peak. And then run west. And then go south until you see it. It'll bubble so you can kind of like spot it a little easier. Control zoom out to, to, to zoom out even further and it should be right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So you need a shovel. I forgot to bring a shovel. Bring a shovel, a spade, and dig these up. And you get them pretty much instantly. So just use that on a super prayer to get an aggression pot. Use organic components on aggression pot to get an overload. Once you have an overload, it's a bit of a process. But again, it's all about invention, the whole, the whole point. And it's not that much effort. And the effort is the only thing that kind of balances it out. Either way, it's still going to be nerfed, so don't panic. Or, or, well, I mean, panic right now. <laughs> By the time you're watching this, no, I need to panic. Uh, so spawn some. Well, don't spawn. Go get some. Go get some crystal keys. Use your uh, crystal components on a dark fluid. You do not need a schematic for this part. It is five thousand per. Use it on that. Let's use just the three we have, and then open the chest. You get some guaranteed platinum tokens, guaranteed uh, dark components, and then you also get a loot, which we got. A master clue and two ma uh, mystery boxes. The price value of the uh, the uh, key is roughly ten crystal keys. It's supposed to be one sinister key, so you can use that as sort of a frame of reference. But that is the update. I'm gonna lower it a little bit, just the bond part, because obviously we just nerfed the raid boxes from uh, Numulite and all that shit. Where we don't want to have a new version of that. Uh, let's check this dude's bank and let's find out if we have to ban him. I mean, I'm, I'm just joking. I wouldn't ban him. It's our fault. But let's find out how, how bad he's been doing this. Let's see what his components are. He's got uh, he's got 1.4 mil dark components. That's a fair bit. What else has he got? Let's see. Let's snoop on this guy's account. He does have the bond still. That's probably the main... That's, uh, that's like really the only thing worthwhile, though. I'll, I'll have to find something new to replace it. I don't want to just remove it because if I remove it, then they're not that great. I'll find something good and replace it with that. And then the last update is the combat system, which people have not really been talking about it much. I don't know. I, I thought it would have an impact on PVM, but it doesn't seem like it, or at least no one's complained enough about it. So we'll have a look at that. I'll probably do a little bit of PKing with John. You might see another PKing video. It's been a while since we've done something like that, and that'll be the perfect time to test it. If it's not good enough, we'll do it even harder. We'll go even harder. But that is it for the videos. I actually got a couple things planned for this weekend, so I know that there's been like two or three days where there's been like I think I think I only have been one video in the last two days and it was kind of just a preview of this video so then you're seeing this video and it's kind of like you know what I mean it's it's a little lackluster but I'll uh, I'll have better stuff out this weekend and uh, John and I have been playing the duos again so you can see the duo series is going to be coming back very soon